Okay, Brianna, um, I need your help. Okay. I was given this problem and I'm not exactly sure what the answer is. Uh, there, different people have said there are different ways of doing it. I want to see what your, uh, what your take is on this. What are you learning right now, uh, this week? In my math class so far, we've been learning order of operations. Okay, tell us a little bit about that. How does that work? Order of, order of operations, the method is PEMDAS. It's P for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Okay. How would you approach this problem? The way I would approach it is using this um, method the right way. The first thing is P for parentheses, so I would do what's in my parentheses first. Okay. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So I bring that down and I bring the rest of my numbers down. The key to getting the right answer is having a neat organized space because you can almost you can almost guarantee that if you don't have a neat space then you might not get the right answer because everything's so cluttered. Continue. And then what I would do is which my next step step is since I'm dealing with division and multiplication I have to go from left to right because div division and multiplication are opposite so I have to go from left to right and then for addition and subtraction I can go from left to right too because they're opposites so I start from 6 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 equals 3 I bring my multiplication sign down and I bring down my 3 and then 3 times 3 equals 9. Sounds good. How'd you feel about that? That was pretty easy. Well, <clears throat> appreciate your help. You might have helped clear up some things for us. Okay? okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, Joni, I need your help. Um, I'd like to see how you would approach this particular problem um, regarding order of operations. Okay. Well, this is an equation, and these are the method. This is the method that you're going to use to solve the equation PEMDAS. Uh, that stands for uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So first, P for parentheses. We're doing one plus two that equals three, and you bring everything down. Alright, and this becomes multiplication. We're done with that. Uh, no exponents, so we cross that out. Multiplication, since that's next. 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Okay. Pretty sure that's it. Very good. Appreciate you clearing that up for us. Go ahead and put the one up there by the equal side. Okay. Okay, Stephen, I need your help. I've asked Joni and I asked Brianna to help me with this, and I want to see your take on it. Uh, take a close look at that problem. It's an order of operations problem. I want to see how you would approach it. Just go ahead and solve it any way that you feel comfortable. <coughs> Tell us what you're doing. Okay, I'm doing the parentheses. 2 plus 1 equals 3. And I'm putting 6 divided by 2. And that, um, all right, next we do M and D multiplication and division, whichever comes first, and this is three. This is nine. Write it down. Nine? Nine? Okay, by the equal sign. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I do not challenge your, 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 um, I do not challenge your, your answer at all. Um, but can you slow down and, and tell me the steps? Re relate each one to, P to the PEMDAS. Okay? What does we do? P for parentheses. So I you do your parentheses. parentheses first. Go ahead. And 1 plus, one plus 2 plus 3. Okay. And I keep the parentheses. Why are you keeping the parentheses? Because this is, there's no sign right here, which means multiplication. Mm -hmm. If I put it, if I say 3 and then 2, that looks like 23. Okay. You get very confused very easily. 
Okay. Could you not have just put an X to show that it was multiplication? I could, but okay, go ahead. I, I just want to keep multi um, eighth grade um, stamina. Okay. All right. Then I bring both of these down. Six. Now, PEMDAS is parentheses. We already did it. Exponents. We already did. Well, we don't have any exponents. Multiplication and division, whichever comes first in this order of order of operation, along with adults, um, addition and subtraction. But we don't need them right now. Okay. So right now, division is first. Six divided by two is three. Wait a. You say division is first, but I still see parentheses. What do you do with that? I still I see parentheses. Smart. Oh, there. Oh, parentheses, which means do something inside of the parentheses. Three. We can't do anything. With so are you saying that should you have brought the parentheses down at all? Is there any reason for bringing the parentheses down? Okay. No. No. Actually. You're bringing up a great point. By bringing the parentheses down, I believe that it causes people's mind to go back to the P step when there's really no more P step. But what happened inside the parentheses has already been completed. Yeah, they're, they're, so you remove the parentheses and replace it with the sign that's represented. Now, how would right. you approach it? All right, now 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3 equals 9. Let me ask you a question. I don't disagree with you. Yes. Why did you do 6 divided by 2 first instead of 2 times 3 first? You have the M up there before the D. Is there any order in that? Yeah, in PEMDAS. It would seem as though the M would be first and the D would be second, or is that, right? is that it correct? It appears that way. It appears that way. In PEM, PEMDAS, it goes P. For parentheses, we already did parentheses. Mm -hmm. Exponents, there are no exponents. <coughs> Multiplication and division have this weird relationship along with addition and subtraction mm -hmm. that whatever is first. So if you say division, 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 multiplication, you do division, 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 multiplication. Okay. In that order. And would some people call that left to right? Let, oh, yeah, you read the problem from left to right, as long as there's only multiplication and division signs inside of it. Okay. And... Let me ask you a question. Yes. What would the answer have been if, go back to the step where you have 6 divided by 2 times 3. Okay. Erase what's below it. What would happen if you did multiplication that first? That would have been 1. That, the answer Show would have been 1. Show us. Right here? Mm-hmm. So it would have been 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Oops. So there's a big difference between 1 and 9. Which one is right? Actually, I believe that mine is correct because, along with what I said just, just a second ago, multiplication and division, whichever comes first, is the answer. That makes sense. So in other words, the left to right step is an important <laughs> step. Yes. Yeah, I agree with you. 6 to 2, 3. 6 divided by 2. Mm -hmm. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3 equals 9. And that's my answer. So is it fair to say that in the PEMDAS mnemonic, when you see P, E, M, D, A, and S, is it fair to say that just because the M comes first in the mnemonic does not necessarily mean that you have to multiply first, Correct. divide second, add first, and subtract second? Now, what? now, don't get confused. Only It only works with these two. Exactly. And then it only works with these two. Correct. Not all three. That makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. So if there's division, division, multiplication, addition, mm -hmm. you, do multi you do that, 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 that. Correct. Okay. That's what you're saying. Good point. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate you, man. That's it. So you see, Facebook, um, <coughs> two different perspectives. We have an older uh, young lady. She's in high school. She's a, ju uh, a junior in high school right now. And her concept of PEMDAS was very much like it was when I learned it. And apparently, the way it was when many of you may have learned it also, we, we did the steps very clearly. Um, and if you notice, there was no discrepancy between using these particular characters. The difference was whether or not uh, we employ the step that talks about moving left to right. Uh, I'm a proponent for using the steps that go left to right, because as you see, if you go 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, times 3 you get 9 however if you go 2 times 3 that's going to be 6 and 6 divided by 6 is 1 and most of the, the respondents to this particular problem on Facebook have been getting 9 and they've, they've been getting 1 the way I would approach it is this someone hand me my pen 
This is where I think that some people may have gotten mixed up. I don't know if that's the case, but this is what I suspect. I believe that everyone using their PEMDAS did exactly this. They did the 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. But what may have happened, and I've seen people do this before, they, because the 2, normally in math, this 2 is um, positioned to be multiplied by whatever the sum or whatever um, the answer is, what's going on inside the parentheses. The parentheses are group or use to group what's going on inside here. I think that people may do this, inadvertently do this. They bring parentheses down and do this. 6 divided by this 2 times 3. If you bring the parentheses down, that tempts you to go back to the PEMDAS step, which would put parentheses first, and then people would approach this first, which would be 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 6 would be 1. My thing is this. The parentheses are there to group. So once you have done what's inside the parentheses, in my, in my opinion, once, we, once you've done what's inside the parentheses, the parentheses are no longer needed to group. So you eliminate the parentheses because you've done the operation inside. And what remains is bringing down what you have. And the operation that's implied when you have a number outside of parentheses, the operation is multiplication. Now that the parentheses are not driving your eye to go back to the P step in PEMDAS, you're already at the MD step. And the MD step, according to the rules, is to be done from left to right. So instead of starting here, as you would if the parentheses was there, now that the parentheses is not there, demanding that you go back to the P step, now that that's not there, you can go from left to right. And what you would get is 6 divided by 2, which is 3, times 3, which is 9. This is what I believe to be the answer. And I think the reason was because people have a tendency to want to bring those parentheses down. If you bring the parentheses down, it drives you back to this P step inadvertently. That's my take on it. I'll be waiting for your comments. <laughs>